Good morning and welcome to day 22 of the January Kickstart Challenge. So it's Monday and I am off to work. I'm going to bring the Red Berry Crunchy O's cereal with half a cup of unsweetened almond milk for my first fueling. And I weighed in this morning and I am only down half a pound. How frustrating. But I think there's a couple of factors at play. First, the teriyaki sauce last night had a lot of sodium. And number two, that speaks for itself. <laughs> Nothing's been happening there, so I'm gonna have to uh, look into that. So. Anyway, I am headed out the door and I will see you guys when I get home for lunch. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be. No one's waiting for me. I won't lie. I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do because I'm not gonna let slip away, I won't waste this, there's something about the way you fix your eyes on me, I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy, I, 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 what you wanna do now, should we head back to my place, I, 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 when you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace, I don't care about what we do, if I get to be with you, what you wanna do now is to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love. But when you talk, listen close. There's just something about your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. Well, I made it home for lunch, and I did change my clothes because I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon, so I won't be going back to the office. And it's just a routine exam with my general practitioner. I'm on certain medications, um, specifically for high blood pressure and high cholesterol, which hopefully if I succeed on this five-in-one plan, maybe I can get rid of some medication. But anyway, he would not refill my prescription without me going in there. So that's where I'm headed this afternoon. And then I'm probably gonna take a bar because if I'm stuck there for a while, I'm definitely going to need it. You just saw me have the red bean and vegetable chili. Now, I add a little bit more water than what the package calls for. I do slightly under one cup and that seems to work out really well. And in regard to my problem I was mentioning earlier this morning, I'm going to try to really limit my bars. I've been hearing that if you have too many bars, it can lead to that specific problem. But hopefully one bar won't uh, hurt me. And I'm just gonna focus and for the rest of this 30 day challenge, I am knuckling down and I'm gonna really try to weigh and measure everything and watch my sodium and up my exercise. So I hope to do the treadmill later today. All right, I'm getting ready to head out to my doctor's appointment and I will see you when I get back. All right, well, I am done at the doctor's. He's signing me up for all these stupid tests. I have to get another colonoscopy and I get this free CT scan for my heart to make sure I don't have any blockages. I have to schedule that. I don't know, I am in a funk today. I think maybe it was the disappointing weight loss. I'm just getting frustrated and I'm gonna stick to things but I need some kind of pick-me-up. So I am near a shopping center, so I'm actually gonna head out and stroll through Marshalls. Maybe I can find a pretty candle or something to make myself feel better. And then I'm gonna do the treadmill tonight. And I think after I exercise, that will make me feel better. I don't know, I gotta get out of this funk.
All right, I'm gonna head to Marshall's. Okay, well, I got a little bit of retail therapy, so I think I feel a little bit better. So it's time for my next fueling, and I'm gonna have the chocolate mint cookie crisp bar on my way back home. All right, I will see you for my lean and green. Okay, I am back from my doctor's appointment and Marshall's, and I got a couple of things. I got this cute, lightweight, I don't know if you call it a sweatshirt or what, um, on clearance for like $12. And I love the color, and it matches my nails. Um, and I did get a candle. I got this sand and fog um, ocean mist scented, and it says, live simply and it smells really good. It smells like the ocean. And the ocean is my happy place. And then I picked up this Christmas sweater. It was on clearance. And obviously I have to wait a while before I can wear it, but um, I thought it was really pretty. So I got that too. I think that was like $12. So I got, I got some deals, made me feel a little bit better. I don't know. I just keep telling myself, follow the plan, drink my water, and in a day or two, I'm going to feel better. And this hard work will catch up with me. I know it will. It's frustrating, but I have to remember, I'm 55 years old, I went through menopause, and sometimes it just is a little bit harder to lose the weight but I know that the Optavia 5-in-1 program works if I do it the right way. So I'm going to try to be really conscious of everything and count my condiments and measure everything. So speaking of lean and greens, I'm gonna make my pork chops that I got uh, yesterday with my Aldi grocery haul and I'm gonna saute the angel hair coleslaw mix, which is just the finely shredded cabbage. Um, I haven't used any condiments today, so I probably will do some salt and pepper, uh, maybe some garlic powder, and I'm gonna measure everything out. Now, one of my subscribers said that the pork chops are a leaner and I get six ounces of them. Um, I'm not sure, I'm gonna look it up and I will let you know. So I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see me prepare my lean and green, and then I will check back later. I'm into you, got like a million ideas what we could do, cause I'm not gonna let you slip away, I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? So I just finished my lean and green, and that was really good. I checked the lean and green guidelines and how you classify meat, uh, lean, leaner, or leanest, depends on the amount of fat in the serving. And the pork chops that I bought had nine grams of fat for a four ounce serving. So if you have a five ounce serving, then the fat is gonna be probably 11 or 12 grams. A six ounce serving would probably be 13 or 14 grams of fat, which puts it into the lean category. So I measured it out and I had exactly five ounces. So I had cooked a little bit more than that and so Leo got to have a treat. Apparently he really likes pork chops. And then I sauteed the angel hair coleslaw and I threw in a big heaping amount into the frying pan, but when I weighed it out, cause I did it on my scale, it was just slightly over two greens. So I rounded that out with some of the grape tomatoes, which I was just saying when I did my grocery haul, those are great for that, for adding some extra greens when you need it. 
and they were really good and sweet. So feeling better, drinking my water. I'm going to do a half an hour on the treadmill. And then tonight at 7.30 is the Revive Tribe Wins of the Week. And that's always a good place for support. So I'm looking forward to that. And then for my last fueling of the day, I just watched Ashley Kisner's new video that she put up um, either yesterday or today, where she makes Optavia snickerdoodles out of the cinnamon roll mix. And I have that, and I have that Feast Mode uh, honey, cinnamon honey butter. So I think that I'm gonna try to make that tonight. Um, as you've been seeing in my most recent videos, I've been making cookies out of everything. Obviously, it started with the chewy chocolate chip cookies, and then I made uh, cookies out of the brownie, and then I combined the chocolate chip cookie mix and the brownie mix and made cookies for me and Mike. So I think I need to try the uh, cinnamon roll mix made as a cookie tonight. All right, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna do the treadmill, go on my Zoom for wins of the week, and I will see you back for my last fueling. Gonna let you slip away, I'm gonna waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy. Uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now, should we head back to my place? your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. I just want you for my own. It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known. I'm not gonna waste this. Uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. I am ready to try my cinnamon roll cookies, or as Ashley Kisner called them, snickerdoodles. They are warm and fresh out of the oven. They are really good. All right, so I've showered. I'm letting my hair dry naturally and I'm gonna put them up in the heatless curls tonight. And Leo and I are going to hang out for a little bit and watch some TV. And I will see you in the morning. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. Good morning and welcome to day 23 of the January Kickstart Challenge. 
And as you saw, I'm bringing the golden chocolate chip pancake to work with me for my first fueling. And I'll have that with some black coffee there at work. And then you saw me prep my air fryer mac and cheese. And essentially all I did was add the half cup of water to the mix and put it in one of those little oven safe mini casserole dishes. And I'm gonna have that sit in the refrigerator until lunchtime. And then when I get home, I'll just pop it in the air fryer. I do it for 11 minutes at 400 degrees. And I also want to mark this day. Uh, today is my mother's birthday. She's been gone now almost 15 years. She would have been 80 today. She was 65 when she died. Um, she developed type 1 juvenile diabetes when she was in her 20s and for the last five years of her life she was on kidney dialysis and just got sicker and sicker. But I was her only child and I miss her every day. I still talk to her and I still think she haunts me. At least I like to think so. All right, happy birthday mom. I'm gonna head to work. You'll see what I have for my second fueling, and then I'll be home for lunch. And bring on one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Well, I made it home for lunch and you saw me prepare my air fryer mac and cheese. And that is just so much better in the air fryer than making it according to the package directions. When you let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour, the water is absorbed by the noodles so they're not crunchy and it tastes like mac and cheese or like baked mac and cheese. <sighs> All right, well, I am getting ready to head back to work. Mike's coming over after work, so when I get back, I'm going to immediately do the treadmill so I can get that in before Mike comes over. And then what I'm planning for my lean and green is steaks. I got those steaks from Wild Fork uh, that you saw in the unboxing. So I'm gonna make that for me and Mike and Michael. And for Mike and Michael, I'm just gonna throw a couple baked potatoes in the microwave and then they can have vegetables if they like. I know Mike really likes sauteed mushrooms with his steaks. So I will make some for him. Oh, you're hearing Kylie. She's thinking about jumping on the counter. I think Leo has taught her how to be bad. Oh, well, there she is. Hi, Kylie. Oh, there she is. The cats run the house. So anyway, for my vegetables, I plan on having the sauteed mushrooms. I'm gonna also saute some zucchini and some green pepper. And then once I cook it, I'm going to weigh it to make sure I get the appropriate amount of vegetables. All right, I'm gonna head back to work. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling. And then I'll be home to do the treadmill and get started with my lean and green. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's all. 66 and we keep on driving we just do what we wanna do yeah no nothing's complicated
So the last time we talked, I was home for lunch. Uh, you saw what I had for my fourth fueling and you saw me make my steak dinner that I made for Mike and Michael. I added again, baked potatoes for them. And then the vegetables I used were green pepper, zucchini and mushrooms. And what I did was I sauteed them all together, but I added up the weight in ounces for one serving of each of those vegetables. And that equaled 8.5 ounces. So that's what I measured out of my vegetable medley. And my steak was so good. I love those steaks from Wild Pork. Well, I'm winding down tonight. I'm going to have my chewy chocolate chip cookies for my last fueling. If you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. I'm gonna say good night and I will see you in the morning.